Have you guys ever wondered what part of the piano is responsible to take the music from your fingers and translate it all the way to the string? Have you ever wondered that? I have. Hello everybody, it's Texas Tim Root here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Hope you guys are doing great out here. We've got a really great video for you today. Something a little bit different I haven't ever done before, so we hope you like it. I'd like to remind you before we get going, please go to our website, alamomusic.com, and uh, go check out our videos on YouTube subscribe to our channel and like our videos. So thank you very much for doing that. So here we go, let's get going. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take out the piano action from the piano, all right? This isn't something maybe I'm recommending that you do at home, but a piano technician would do this. But it's really the only way for us to show you what a piano action is like. So we're going to show you how to take it out. All right, so here we go. First thing you want to do is take off the fall board. So you gently do it, and then you just pull it up like this. Don't want to scratch it. Put it down, and normally what I do is I just put it right down here, right? Next thing we want to do is there'll be two screws here. Sometimes there's screws in the top, you got to watch out for that, but on this wonderful quiet piano, there's not. So uh, we'll just unloosen it here, right? Loosen that down, maybe loosen this right here. So there's two of them, pretty simple, right? These are the cheek blocks, and then I'm going to just let me just go ahead and take the screws all the way off. Put them on the ground. All right. Now, this board should just come right up. Don't want to hit the piano. Like that. <laughs> cool. Then I'll put this over here. Basically, you want to just be real careful with your piano. Like I said, I don't really recommend doing that. Okay, so now we can see we're getting into the piano action, which is really interesting. It's an amazing what this thing does. Okay, then we're going to take off the cheek blocks, just kind of take those out, put them right here. There you go. So now that's pretty much it. Uh, fall board off, screws, front plate, cheek blocks, you're in. Now, this is the kind of the most delicate part, they've told me. What you don't want to do, you're going to slide this whole action out, but what you don't want to do is be pressing any of the keys down slightly because the, the hammers and everything will be up. So what we're going to gently do is move this out just like this, very carefully. And then now we're getting into this beautiful grand piano action. Now, is that amazing? Woo, daddy. It looks cool. So 88 keys, killer piano action right here. And uh, now let's talk about a little bit about what, what we're doing here, okay? So everybody, when you think of a piano, you think of, oh, well, it's so beautiful. It's elegant. It's a wonderful piece of furniture. It's just so beautiful, beautiful, which is nice. But Inside is where all the magic happens, okay? That's where, uh, you know, there's over 10,000 parts that have to work together to produce that wonderful piano sound that everybody loves. So one of the most impart important parts of the piano is the action. The action is, it's the part that lets your fingers transfer, you know, your music to the strings. It's the mechanism that enables the key to... Uh, move the hammers to actually strike the string. So it's very important. The action is everything about the feel of the instrument, how it feels. Is it a heavy action? Does it take a lot to push it down? Or is it a lighter action? Some players like a heavy action, some like a uh, light action. 
it's really the most important part about how it feels, how responsive it is, how quickly you can do repetitive notes, all that kind of thing is all to have to do with action. Action, as you can tell, is a very intricate uh, mechanism and uh, there's a lot you can do with it, but it's a very important part of it. There are several types of actions. For example, on an upright piano, uh, there's different size uprights, so they have different actions, like a direct blow or a uh, indirect blow action. Uh, mainly it has to do with how uh, tall the upright piano is and what kind of action it is. Could be a, uh, a normal upright uh, action or it could be a, a compressed one. But the key thing about an upright is the mechanism strikes the string with a hammer going forward. Today we're going to take a look at the grand piano action, which is really a better action because it the hammers uh, go up from under the string and, and strike the string from underneath. And it uses kind of gravity in its favor to help it uh, go back in place. So really, overall, the grand piano action is uh, much better. Uh, there's four important parts. I'm not going to go into every little piece of an action because, I mean, I could be here for like a long time. Today, we're just going to talk about four key uh, important parts of an action. First of all is the key, all right? So there's four important parts of an action. Uh, there's obviously a lot more parts here, but we'll start out with the four important parts. Number one is the key, okay? Of course, the key is uh, like a seesaw. It's the thing you hit with your fingers, and what it does is it enables the hammer to move to the string, all right? It's very important, and it has like a pivot point, a balance point that's located uh, behind the fall board. So the longer the strings, uh, I mean, excuse me, the longer the keys are, the more control and uh, you have over it. So key length is really important, all right? So basically, that's what gives you, you know, the, the connection between your fingers and the, the other parts. Second is the jack. Okay, the, uh, uh, the jack is what basically uh, you press down the key and it backs up and flicks the jack upwards and makes the hammer hit the string, all right? So that's a very important part. See, so you hit the string, goes up if you hit it very soft. Now if you hit it lat hard, boom, see how it goes all the way back really fast? If you want to do fast notes, it's really cool. You want to do multiple like a chord? Name that chord. Name the scale. Just kidding. Anyway, so the key and the jack, and then this part right here is the hammer. All right, now that's really important. All right, so the hammer is the part of the action that makes the piano unique from the other keyboard instruments such as a harpsichord or a clavichord. The hammer begins its movement when the jack and the repetition lever push up on the hammer knuckle. The knuckle has an outer layer made of leather normally and an inner felt court. So these are made out of different materials, premium felt mainly, but there's all sorts of, of hammers uh, out there that, that give you a different sound, but you gotta have some nice hammers. And the dampers located in here, those are, uh, they control the damping or the stopping of the string's vibration. The dampers are found on most, but not all strings on the piano. When the key's released, the damper head is lowered back onto the string, stopping the sound. When the damper is at rest, it sits on the felt pad attached to the damper lever aboard. So those are important parts. The key, the jack, the damper, and uh, you know, there's a lot of other parts in there we're not gonna go into today. But uh, this is one of the most intricate parts of the piano. So like some, you may have heard the term voicing or uh, regulation, that you, you would have a technician come in and tweak out, you know, maybe you want it to be a little bit darker or not so bright, well they can come in and, and, and fix it to where it's a little bit, uh, sounds a little bit darker, or you want the action to be a little heavier, you want it to be lighter, so a good technician can come in here and adjust your action and make it perfect for your uh, playing style and preference. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Just to let you know, the action we actually pulled out today 
is from a, a, a GX, GX6 Kawhi piano. This is the Millennium 3 action, which is really an advanced uh, uh, action. Now, Kawhi is renowned for their actions, and you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of wood parts in here, but in key parts, you can see down in here, if you take a look with the camera, you see these black bits? Those are special uh, ABS carbon parts, okay? So these parts are faster, stronger, lighter, and more durable. Similar to materials you would find on a tennis racket, you know, some of the great tennis rackets, or some premium golf clubs, Formula One race cars, uh, I think the Boeing Dreamliner aircraft is made out of it. So that's the future for actions. Really what they're doing is they're improving actions and Akwai is really taking the lead on it. Uh, wood has been traditionally what they used on most of the on materials, but you know, wood is susceptible to uh, shrinking and swelling. And you can tell with all these uh, thousands of parts in here that just a little shrinking or a little a swelling could really throw it off and, and cause you problems, especially depending on what part of uh, the country or the world you live in, the climate. Uh, so the uh, carbon fiber parts from the Millennium 3 action are really the best that you can get. So it's an amazing action and uh, it's really, I just love looking in here and, and, and just seeing it. I just think it's amazing. But the key thing is about the action is that's really what translates the, the musician's uh, mood or emotion or feeling into actual mechanics to actually hit the strings, which then goes to the, the bridge and the soundboard and the frame to produce the wonderful instrument. But it doesn't happen without a great action. Okay, so that's it. That's the piano action. Hope you learned something today. So until next time, please uh, go to our website, alamomusic.com. Uh, go to our YouTube channel. Like our video. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, check us out. Thank you very much. And uh, until next time, have a great day. And it's time to go practice your piano. <laughs>